we're going to open up to some questions. So um, we kind of uh, want to go and ask the, our audience a question, uh, uh, grab their questions and ask them. And I'm going to go and make it specific to the panelists uh, based on what I'm reading here. Um, Carolina, um, this seems like a, a one that would be really good because it, it deals with entertainment. Speed to market, okay? Um, dealing with the folks that go into the decision making, meaning you make a beautiful deck. You said something interesting. You said that even concepts that you don't love the best, you include in there. We do we do that as manufacturers too at times. I'll tell folks, hey. I don't like that print. Please make these corrections and run it again. And then I'll take the one that I like and get ready to stick it in a tube and FedEx it out to a designer. But I'll tell my folks there, hey, take the two I didn't like and put them in the tube and mark them previous and just tell them what I did to make my new one. They'll understand my language. And they'll say, hey, why do you want to do that? Because I don't know if I'm right. And it's really the audience. It's really... Hey, I don't think you're going to love this, but I included it anyway. Here's my recommend, but take a look. Um, you mentioned that. It, describe some of that when you kind of kill them with kindness and show them not what your recommend is, but in totality. Sure, definitely. Yeah, I think that was one of the important process because first of all, we want to share all the possibilities, like the ones that work and the ones that do not work that well, right? Just to as well um, make clear that we are covering everything up, like all the possibilities. And finally, just um, just because uh, let's see, let's let let's say that they are envisioning a different material or a different color. But if you already work on that in your mind, you're just showing up that uh, that option ahead, and that's well just to evidence the part of the proofing process. Like you are just seeing like the refined version, but behind that version are 20 printed samples or there are 20 illustrations different or 20 different images, image selections. So I think it is as well just making them look how the design process or the printing process it is. And I think like as well educate our colleagues or educate ourselves uh, on that process. So yeah. Yeah, thank you. That, that that's that's kind of what in manufacturing we we kind of try to do too, get ourselves you know really deep into the the process and help with some of the simpler decision making. Um, Liz, tell us just about the cycle, from the first time you were tapped for Rutgers to the final video we got. You know, give us a sense of scale and how long that is and how how many touches there were there was involved. Yeah, so from an architectural standpoint, my team started much earlier than I did. Um, I want to say they probably started in t the fall of 2019. I joined in in April 2020, um, developed all the artwork, and I think I started handing off fabrication art maybe <laughs> in August, but it went like August, September, October, November, and then doors opened in December 2020, like December 31st. So some of these things, uh, Blue Edge had a lot of time to print and probably most of them they really didn't like we <laughs> we had to turn artwork around pretty fast because it was a big decision making process so really all in for me it was April until uh, December of the same year with a lot of that stuff happening at the telltale end as it always does in the EGD world. Yeah and entertainment follows suit speed to market you know um, but that but, but the communication really helps as a fabricator and what I mean by that is you know it's coming. You stage and orchestrate. You get the presses and you get work off the presses knowing that, hey, this is going to run late. So part of our communication with approval process and color testing, Liz would say, hey, we have time for this. And I would say, not really, but it's important. So we could juggle, right? If we know we were supposed to go to press with Rucker skins, you know, on a Monday, but I still want to get approvals. Uh, I'll switch and move and take goods that weren't going to be on that press and kind of juggle that. That is a big part of getting it right. And it makes it really, really important for us to be engaged with not only the aesthetics, but the schedule and the budget as well. 
Uh, we have to wrap up, but I, I will say that my dear friends make us look really good. And I appreciate all three of you in taking out time. Uh, this was very, very nice and very informative. Uh, we have a way to contact us. There is a barcode. If any of our friends on the webinar would like a sample packet from us once a month, come and let us know. Click on that barcode and you will get new substrates that manufacturers are bringing to us, some cool things that we got to do for some partners. And it, and for designers, it could spark ideas. Um, quite honestly, um, we are tasked to execute your vision, not to interpret it, not to kind of um, move it into printer's ease and say can't. What we're supposed to do is support you and take what you created weeks and months and years ago and bring it to fruition. And that's where really good partnerships with talented people uh, make really, really pretty projects that stand the test of time. Thank you again, ladies, and thank you everybody for joining us. Um, any questions, all our emails are out there. Uh, feel free to reach out to us. Have a wonderful summer. Stay safe.